Hello everyone, this is Shatrugan and in this lecture we will see the difference between spermatogenesis and oogenesis. So let's start. So where does these processes occur? Spermatogenesis occurs in the seminiferous tubules of testes and oogenesis occurs in ovaries. Spermatogenesis leta hai 74 days for its completion and oogenesis completes in 12 to 15 years of age of a female. Spermatogenesis is a type of continuous process because ye kahi bhi halt nahi hota. But oogenesis is a discontinuous process because humne dekha tha ki during birth also it gets halt at meiosis first and that in meiosis 2 also it gets halt. So it's a discontinuous process. The growth phase in spermatogenesis is of shorter duration as compared to the growth phase of oogenesis. Yolk synthesis is not seen in spermatogenesis, so there is no vitellogenesis in spermatogenesis, while in oogenesis, vitellogenesis can be seen sometimes. Nuclear changes ki baat kare, to in spermatogenesis, condensation of nucleus occurs in sperms, while in oogenesis, ovum ke nucleus mein nucleoplasm ka amount zyada hota hai. One spermatogonium forms four haploid sperms in spermatogenesis and in oogenesis one oogonium forms only one haploid ovum. Koi bhi polar body spermatogenesis mein nahi banti hai. And two to three polar bodies are formed in oogenesis. Spermatogenesis gets completed in testes and oogenesis gets completed in oviduct. Sperm ka size kaafi chota hota hai spermatogonium se while ovum is much larger than oogonium.